So in today's session, we're going to talk about actively listening. And I think this is such an important quality to have and understand as a stylist, especially inside of the salon when it comes to consultations, when it comes to dealing with unhappy customers, when it comes to dealing with your teammates, and when it comes to dealing with your management team. Active listening is such an important part of life, and it is one of the things that's going to help you become a thriving stylist inside of your salon. So listening is an important skill in all areas of your life, whether you're supporting a loved one or you're dealing with colleagues, any sort of relationship is going to need active listening. So I'm going to give you some tips and tricks that you can utilize in order to start being a better active listener inside of your business. So first and foremost, you want to make sure that you are facing the person that you're talking to and that you're actually having eye contact. Face-to-face conversations and eye contact is so important. Now remember, too much eye eye contact can be a little intimidating that you're breaking up the eye contact through the conversation, but really make sure that you are paying attention and that you're really looking the person that you're talking to clearly in the face and that you are checking your posture and that you're always seeming open. You also want to be able to listen to nonverbal cues. Nonverbal cues are a main source of communication for all human beings. Facial expressions, tone of voice, gestures, the way that people are touching their hair. Pay attention to what the other person is saying with their body language. This is so important. During active listening, we want to make sure that we don't interrupt too much. Interrupting can be frustrating, especially when it comes to somebody who is paying for a service. So we really want to make sure that we're giving a good impression and that we want to make sure that we are not making the person that is sitting in our chair, we're not making them feel like we are more important and that we really truly want to hear what they have to say. We also want to make sure that we're listening without judgment or jumping to conclusions. We don't want to start reacting emotionally to what's said, and we really want to make sure that we are being open to the conversation and what the person is saying, again, without judgment. We want to make sure that during this conversation, we're not planning on what we're going to say next. We're taking in the information, we're we're processing it, and we're utilizing it, and then once we're done listening, then we're going to come up with an action plan. You also want to be able to show that you're listening by nodding your head, making small noises like yes, uh uh-huh. This is going to encourage your client to continue speaking and it's going to make them feel comfortable and it's going to make them feel like you're actually listening. We also want to make sure that we don't impose opinions. We just want to make sure that we're creating solutions for our guests. Creating solutions is why they're sitting in our chair in the first place. They have a pain point with their hair. They want something fixed. It's our job to create the solution and to give the technique to actually provide that solution. We want to make sure that we stay focused. Sometimes it can be difficult to stay focused. We can try to stay focused by repeating back to them what they say to us. We will reinforce what they're saying to help them to, to help ourselves concentrate and to shut out distractions. This helps so much. And then last but not least, you want to make sure that you ask questions that go along with what they just shared with you. So these are just some tips and tricks that will help you become a better active listener, that will help you communicate better with your clients and to be more open to what our guests are saying while they're sitting in our chair to receive a service so that we really understand what their wants, needs, and what the solution is for the problem they're experiencing with their hair. I hope today's session was helpful and I hope you start utilizing these steps to be a better active listener inside of the salon.